I already made a video how to monetize your game by adding AdMob to your game. And in this video, I'm going to show how to set up in app purchases for your game. I'll show it both for visual scripting and C sharp. So let's get started. So right here, I have a shop UI and I want to get these buttons right here to actually make the purchase so that the gold that I purchased will actually be added here. To start, let's go to Edit, Project Settings, and inside here, we can go under Services. And if you haven't selected the organization yet, go ahead and do that. And also create a project ID if you haven't done that. When your project is linked, be sure to answer the last question. So I'm gonna say yes, click Save. And now we can go into In-App Purchasing tab, and let's turn it on by clicking on the Off icon. Once that is done, you should get the icon turned to on. And in here, I like to install the latest version for the purchasing package. So you can go ahead and do that. Now that we are all up to date, right here, you'll see an error and you can follow the instruction to fix that error. But let's go and quickly set up in a purchasing. I'm going to start with this button right here, the one that's supposed to give me 240 gold coins. To add in app purchasing for this button, you can click on add component and search for IAP. There's an option for the button. So that is what we're going to select. In this component, we can select the product ID, but currently we don't have any products. So we can click IAP catalog and that will bring up the window where we can add our products. So let's add our first product and then you can select if it's a consumable, non-consumable, or if it's a subscription. If it's not a consumable, you'll have to make sure that you can restore that purchase, but our gold coins are consumable. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Now for the title, we can just say 240 gold and I'll leave the description empty. You can also add translation if you want. Then after that, we have the option for payouts. So you can add the payout and what type of a payout this is. We can say currency and select the quantity of it, 240. So the next thing is we have some configuration. So we'll put the store IDs there and then also the price configuration for Google and the price for Apple. So you can select the price there. But for now, let's say that we're done. And now if we click on this drop down, we'll see that product ID one. You can connect to title text and description text and the price text from your game, but I'm not gonna be doing that. So the last thing that we need to connect is when we make a successful purchase, what we wanna do. For the first button, I'm gonna use visual scripting and the process is very simple. And in here we have some events that we can connect to. The one that we're interested in is on purchase complete. It also sends a product object so if you're using C Sharp, you'll be able to get all the information that you've populated here. But in our case, we're using visual scripting, so we won't be able to get that object. Let's click add to add that event listener and go to our status gold. That's where I have the visual scripting connected. So I can find the flow machine. And on that flow machine, I want to trigger a Unity event. I'll call this event 240 gold. And now we can go to our status gold and go inside of our script. Added graph. In this graph, I have a change text. So all it does is gets the saved gold amount and converts that integer to a string and updates the text. Right here, I have a custom event that I can use to add gold. And that is exactly what we're going to use right now. We'll need to create a unit event. We'll put in the name that we have specified. So 240 gold. And this is going to trigger the custom event. The event name is add gold right here. And it also needs one argument. So for the argument is going to be an integer literal. And that number is 240. So that is it. Now we have the in-app purchase connected. Let's click play and make sure it actually works. So currently I have 1,100 coins. If I click on this, I get this pop-up, the fake store environment, and this is for testing. Click buy, and you can see that that number updated there. We can buy it again, and that looks like it's working correctly. Now that we configured a button with visual scripting, let's take a look at how we can use C-sharp to make the same thing. So let's go to our second button, the 650 gold, add a component, IAP button, and we'll add another product. I'll use ID2 for it. The title is gonna be 650 gold, and let's add a payout currency, subtype 
gold and the quantity is 650. So that is all I'm gonna configure for now. And then we can select it in the dropdown. It is possible to use strings for product IDs and that is probably a better option. Now I'm gonna go and create a method that we're gonna call after we have a successful purchase in the status gold. I have a my gold script that I created. So let's go and edit it. This is a new script. Let's add using engine.purchasing because that is where the product object exists. And we can make a public method. It's gonna return void and I'll just call it by gold. The method is gonna receive a product object. We'll put that in there. And now if we save it and go back to Unity, we can select the second button and add the event. So for the event, let's drag the status gold. And in the functions, we're gonna to go to my gold object and select by gold. So now the event is connected. We can go back into our code and in our code, we can look at the product and go to the definition. And here we can find the payout. And this is where we can get the quantity that we set, the 650. So this way with C-sharp, you can actually reuse this buy gold method with all of your gold purchases. Now to add this quantity to your current gold count, you will probably have some system set up to do that, but I'm just gonna use the visual scripting setup that I have right now. Inside here, I'll say using Unity visual scripting. And in here I can say custom event dot trigger. Then the flow graph is actually connected to the same object. So I can use the game object the custom event name was add gold. And for the argument, we're going to pass in this quantity that we're getting. Now I get an error under product and it's because visual scripting and purchases both have the product name. So we need to specify which one we want to use. So I'm going to use unity purchasing product. With that, we can click save, go to unity and we can test it now. So the first button still should give us that 240. And right there, we're getting the 240. And the second one should give us 650. And right there, we get 650 each time we click on this button. If you found the video helpful, be sure to click on the like button and I'll see you in the next one.